Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's JPR, and today I'm going to be showing you how to catch the legendary Pokemon Ho-Oh in Pokemon Omega Ruby and possibly Alpha Sapphire. I'm not quite sure if it's a version exclusive or not, but anyway, you're going to start off by coming down here to the bottom of Sea Mallville, more commonly known as the Abandoned Ship from the Generation 3 games. Uh, by using Dive, you'll come to this spot about where I am right now, and you're going to look around in this area for the hidden item Scanner. Now, if you remember the original games, you could give the Scanner to Captain Stern in the shipyard at uh, Slateport City, you know, the place where Team Magmar Team Aqua would come to steal the submarine, and he would give you a evolutionary item for Clam Pearl, the Deep Sea Tooth of the Deep Sea Scale. Now, in this game, he doesn't give you that, but instead, he will give you the Clear Bell, the item from Heart Gold that will summon ho -Oh. So, just click around this area right here. It is hidden, like I said, and you will find the scanner. So, now, we will need to go back up to the top of the ship in order to reach our destination where ho -Oh appears. Alright, so I am now back on the main level of the ship. I am now heading outside. And if you go up here to this part right here, which I actually didn't think you could walk on the first time I came here. But if you go up here, this mysterious room will be here, just like it is for all the other legendary Pokemon in this game. And you will encounter a ho -Oh. So, here we are right here. Kind of makes me sad I didn't remix this theme from Heart Gold and Soul Silver, but you know what? The original arrangement is so good that I'm not even going to complain, because it, it's really good. I'm really glad I said I put Ho-Oh in this game, because Ho-Oh is uh, one of my favorite legendaries. One of my favorite legendaries indeed. Up there with uh, Groudon and uh, Zekrom. So, I'm really liking that I put Ho-Oh in here. Like I said, it's not too much like the other legendaries in this game, where you have to go to like Mirage spots while soaring. In this game, you encounter Ho-Oh, obviously, in a set place right here at Sea Mauville. So let's see if we can get this guy down to the appropriate amount of HP. This uh, might actually kill me, or not, I don't know. Okay, the burn is going to not quite knock me out. Got one more turn, so we're going to try and pull off one more Psy Shock on this guy. Now, it's very important that you don't want to set up on this guy, because he does carry punishment just like he did in Heart Gold, which means that uh, he's got a pretty good chance to kill you if you start setting up. So, that's why I didn't decide to use, like, Calm Mind or anything like that. Uh, let's see. We could do a little bit more damage to him. So we're gonna use our old buddy, Big Al, from my first ever Pokemon White Walkthrough, which I recorded way back in 2011. Named after my own grandfather. That was just enough damage. Good job, Big Al, good job. My grandfather actually gets on me quite a lot. He says that I need to give him royalties for naming a Pokemon after him. Anyway, since I like to use Pokeballs, we're going to use Pokeballs on this guy. I used my Master Ball on Deoxys. I didn't want to, but I had to. Yeah, I never really anticipate the first one to catch. But anyway, uh, like I said, I've been trying to catch all the legendaries in this game with Pokeballs. And it's gone fairly well so far, as you guys saw earlier this week. I caught Primal Grad on the third Pokeball. Uh, I caught Reggie Ice third Pokeball. Caught Reggie Steel third Pokeball. Reggie Rock was ninth Pokeball. Uh, Rayquaza was first Pokeball. And I really wish I could have got that on camera. But I think they upped Rayquaza's catch rate in this game. So I'm not too sure if I should be proud of that or not. It's the same catch rate as Zekrom and Rush from Black and White. And speaking of which, they lowered Reshiram and Zekrom's catch rate in this game down to 3 to match the, edge the other legendaries. And I had to throw like 80-something Pokeballs at Reshiram before I finally caught it. And this man just killed himself. Fantastic. That was only like the 20th Pokeball, too. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god, a critical catch. 
<gasps> are you are you kidding? <laughs> Thank you! Thank you for not teasing me! Thank you for being legit, ho ho! -Oh. I am boxing you and I'm never touching you again. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. It was a lot of fun to make and it only wasted about an hour and a half of my time. Huh. <sighs> that was nice.